So what's going on guys, it's GM, it's Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on to any of the videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So before the big super fight on Saturday night between Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin over in the States, Frank Warren will be putting on a show in the UK on Box Nation and it's at the Copper Box Arena and headlining is WBO middleweight champion Billy Joe Saunders. He is the only other middleweight champion outside of the Canelo Golovkin fight and he'll be defending on Saturday night on the same night so all the middleweight titles in the division will be defended in one night and he'll be defending against um, former world title challenger and slick tricky southpaw Willie Monroe Jr and I think this is a very intriguing fight. Both men are southpaws, both men are tricky, both men are very technically sound boxers. And I think whoever turns up on Saturday night and wants it more and really puts on a show of their ability will win the fight because both men are similar in terms of the style. Both men have been inactive this past year because um, Billy Joe Saunders fought at the end of last year, um, scraping a decision against um, the Russian fellow Akavov. And um, Willie Monroe Jr. hasn't fought since September of 2016 when he beat um, Gabe Rosado over 12 rounds. So, yeah, I think whoever turns up, whoever shows the less ring rush, whoever looks like they're on it more, is going to win this fight on Saturday night. Because, like I said, both men are similar in terms of styles. So, yeah, it's a very intriguing fight. I'm slightly edging towards Billy Joe Saunders just because it's in... Billy Joe Saunders' backyard, he'll have the crowd on his side, and if it is a close competitive fight and it does go to the scorecards, I can see Billy Joe Saunders getting a decision against Willie Monroe Jr., so I'm slightly edging towards Billy Joe Saunders right now. Other fights on the card, you've got heavyweight prospect, 20-year-old um, Daniel Dubois in his fifth professional outing. He's going up against um, journeyman fighter AJ Carter for the British um, Southern area. Um, heavyweight title and yeah this is just going to be a walkover job in my opinion for Daniel Dubois it might last a couple of rounds but I see him blasting AJ Carter out of there AJ Carter has been knocked out by journeyman in the past he looks like he hasn't really got much punch resistance and that's not good when you're fighting somebody like Daniel Dubois who's six foot five hits like a fucking mule and looks like he's going to be a very talented heavyweight in the division so yeah, I expect Daniel Dubois to win this fight easily on Saturday night and add the Southern Area title on his quest to pick up other titles like he keeps saying he wants to do. Also on the card is Anthony Yard, like heavyweight contender prospect. Anthony Yard is a fighter I've always had my eye on in terms of ability and seeing where he goes in his career because so far he's looked very good but all the opponents he's fought have been shit. But at the end of the day, he only had like, what, 10 amateur fights. He's only had about, what, 12 fights as a professional. So, obviously, they're guiding him slowly through his career. And he's making some sort of a step up on Saturday night because he's facing a fella called um, Norbert Nemesapati or something like that, Hungarian fighter. And it's for the vacant WBO Intercontinental Light like, Heavyweight title. He's ranked, what, number seven with the WBO, Anthony Yard. So they're moving him on nicely. Frank Warren is good at moving his fighters on um, and guiding their careers quite well. And Anthony Yard, even though he hasn't had many fights, he looks like quite a polished fighter. And his punch power is ridiculous. He does have massive punch power. And his trainer, um, Tunde Ajaye, looks like he's done very well with him so far. And it'll be interesting to see how far he can go. With such um, limited um, amateur background and because he hasn't been boxing that long. But obviously he's learning on the job and so far he's looking well. But obviously his level of opponent has been very, very poor. He could have fought a British title eliminator against Jose Burton. But his um, promoter Frank Warren didn't want that fight. They just wanted the straight shot at Frank Buglione, the British light heavyweight champion. But obviously that weren't going to happen. So he's here against... Um, Norbert Nemsapati, who's been in there with the likes of Callum Smith and Anthony Durrell, was stopped in both of them fights. But yeah, it's a little bit of a step up for Anthony Yard, but I expect him to win the fight with ease and obviously carry on moving forward in his career. So yeah, decent card on Saturday night. 
You've got um, other guys like Joe Pigford and Lucian Reed, who are other prospects in British boxing. They're fighting as well. So, yeah, it looks like it could be a decent card, some good domestic fights. And um, Billy Joe Saunders against William Monroe Jr. So, it's a nice little warm-up before we get to the big um, super fight over in the States. So, yeah, good night of boxing on Saturday night. I look forward to it. JMSV Boxing.